10 days after fishing trawler sank and three of its occupants went missing, family members are asking for a thorough probe into the matter. Speaking with this newscast today from their Water Street Agricola home, Pamela Sam, the sister of Winston Sam, said she thinks that the entire ordeal which was related to them by the survivor has left her with many unanswered questions. She is still hoping that her brother and the two other fishermen can be found alive. They said the boat sank at 15, 15, um, 15 miles. They searched 50 miles, they didn't find it. They gone out to 17 miles, they did not find it. They went out Friday afternoon to 28 miles. Now I don't know how much miles they are out there. And you can't pick up this boat? Come on, a boat cannot varnish. I am not stupid. But we need justice. I am praying and I am hoping day and night that my brother and the rest of the crew is alive. But if they does not find that boat down there, that means that boat did not sink. Come on, we are big people. If you said this car gone down in the river and you look for it and you find the mini car is not there. That current cannot push that boat so far. Right? It's a fifth it's a fifth, sixteen feet trawler. So the current of that water cannot push that boat so far. No matter what the sea. Now you pick up a scene, you say the scene. You're saying that the scene is not from the trawler. Did you bring in the scene for proof? You say the survivor was on a, he had on a life jacket. Do we have that life jacket to prove that that, 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 that um, survivor was with a life jacket? The Dan B, the Dan B is very important because the Dan B have the name of the captain. It's supposed to have the name of the boat and all of that. Did they take that Dan B into any station? Do we have the proof to know that he was on this Dan B? How come? The captain for the boat that they said picked him up, he supposed he is responsible and he's supposed to take that Dan B, take the survivor to the nearest police station. Faye Damon, mother of the boat's captain, Anthony Damon journeyed to Guyana from the United States and the woman says all along she was hoping for some word by now but with each passing day hope is fading. I need my son and his crew back home. I'm asking the government of Guyana to please look into this matter because it's a serious matter. He's the only breadwinner for his family. He have four kids, three schooling on to now. Who is going to look them? The boss never come to know how they're fearing to go to school or nothing. This is not fair for somebody working for you for so many years. I'm calling on the minister in this, this look, I'm so confused right now because all I want is my son to come home. I want my son back. This is not fair. This is not fair after working so many years for you. And next thing I want to know, was that trawler fit to go out? Because as far as I could see, Noble has got a set of old trawlers. And who is the person that said that it fit to go out to sea? The families said they are disappointed with Noble House Seafood's handling of the incident. When I asked Mr. Richards, I said, Mr. Richards, did you saw the press conference that they had? He fumbled a bit and he said, I don't know where they get them information from. So you want to tell me the ministers are out there finding information and you are telling the people it's like they are lying? Minister Ben, in his conference, say he nobody contact anybody until 24 hours after and he is trying to do it. They need to do a thorough investigation concerning this whole situation because this thing is looking right. It is definitely a blind man could see no boat didn't sink and I know the government is stupid because if we as ordinary people could realize certain things. They too can realize certain things. 
So y'all need to get this guy and get some answers for us, please. Bella is a woman always with hopes. I always with hopes and I believe in hope. That's what I say, God is in charge and all would be well. God is in charge, the blood of Jesus. A team was set up to investigate the matter while the searches are currently ongoing. Those missing are both Captain Anthony Damon, 44, father of three, Winston Sam, 46, and 74-year-old Ronald Burton.